All right, um, so now we're talking about uh, shared perspective, and this is basically perspectives that Reynolds shares with other people. All right, so similar ideas and situations. We have that between Eddie Marbo and Rebel Reynolds, the Rebel, uh, High Court and Reynolds, educators and ministers of education and Reynolds, and his wife Margaret and himself. So I'll go through these four scenarios. Um, so basically with uh, the Marbo decision, or Eddie Marbo and Reynolds, um, they share the idea that land should not be taken under terra nullius and should be given back to Indigenous people. So uh, Reynolds establishes that him and Marbo are great mates. Uh, they're on a first name basis throughout the book. They have lunch together at the uni. Reynolds gave Eddie a research job, even though he wasn't qualified. Um, Reynolds helped him in terms of uh, getting information for um, a land rights claim from other nations. Um, then after the whole uh, thing is done uh, and Eddie's actually passed away, then Reynolds has his dream uh, which has Eddie in it. So it illustrates the spiritual connection. All right. So this is the, the, the shared perspective. It means they're thinking the same thing and this is how Reynolds presents himself certainly is very empathetic and certainly as someone who played a big part in uh, the decision. Um, the High Court and Reynolds. Um, this is great for Reynolds because uh, the High Court uh, shares his perspectives in terms of Marbo, Native Title and WIC, all of these land rights decisions. Okay, And this helps Reynolds position himself um, on the side of right, uh, reason, logic. Uh, the law is in his favour, um, hence you know, Reynolds is correct, and sharing his perspective on that uh, further gains the reader his trust. Um, educators and Reynolds. Um, so it's mainly to do with the uh, term invasion and putting that into uh, the curriculum of schools, and that happens in Chapter 11. And basically it's Reynolds saying, we need to teach the truth. I'm not the only one saying this. There's educators saying this, there's uh, education ministers, there's a whole lot of uh, education departments and all that kind of stuff. So everybody's on his side, which means it must be, you know, the right thing. So that's how he positions himself. Uh, his wife, Margaret, uh, is certainly uh, very sympathetic and understanding of all his uh, ideas and, and his dreams. Uh, they moved to Townsville and Reynolds, in his personal perspective, says he's doing that to make a difference. Obviously his wife Margaret shares that with him. Um, she's in charity groups, uh, Opal. Um, she helps out at the kindergarten and the black community school. And uh, she also you know, wrote a letter to the bulletin. Uh, and you can see that that's on page 72 and 74. So she is also shares his perspective that indigenous people um, need to be helped. And you know, the government and most of society isn't doing enough to help them. Um, so just to sum up why we talk about these shared perspectives is um, it's helping Reynolds position himself not just as an individual but these are opinions that he has and lots of other people have. Throughout the book there's the repetition of we, us and then there's them as well. Okay, But basically it helps in his suggestion that what he's saying is not some weird left wing um, strange hippie crap, it's actually just what a normal, thoughtful person would think. Thank you. Have a nice day.